Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Johnny. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the new Unitech Multipore Game Card Reader for the Nintendo Switch. So what makes this Game Card Reader um, new and improved is that this one actually brings a remote. Uh, the previous one that you saw on the channel did not bring a remote. And I have to say that is a game changer for this device because if you're going to be playing and switching games on the Switch, this remote is going to be very useful when you want to switch your games on your Nintendo Switch without having to get up from where you're sitting. It kind of defeats the purpose of just pressing that button in order to switch to a different game. So being able to switch games on the fly with the remote is definitely a big improvement on this device. As you guys know in the previous review that I did, it was a pretty cool device, but you had to get up every time and press that single button in order to switch the games every time you put multiple cartridges into the game card reader. So shout out to Unitech for sending me this product and I will leave this product in the description as well. So let's go ahead and get started and unbox this device. I'm very curious to see how the design is because I really liked this product um, when it came out and I was a big fan of it. I thought it was amazing what they did. And they actually listened to my feedback. I was like, mm, this device would have been better if it had a remote control because um, it was something that I requested. I was like, that, that would make the device more useful instead of just having to get up every single time and switch your games. Now you can load up four cartridges at the same time. So it's a very unique device. So as you guys can see, uh, the design model is pretty much about the same. I don't really see much of a difference on this device. As you guys can see, it looks about the same. Um, and they also think, I believe they also improved it as well with eight games. Now you can put eight games up in here, um, meaning that you don't have to use it as storage. They have fully eight games that you can put up in the here. So that is another game changer for this device. You can literally put eight games here um, that you can use at the same time simultaneously. So yeah, that's a major improvement. I gotta say they did listen because I thought it was kind of pointless to have the storage of the additional games on this device. Because I mean, you're not really gonna be using the storage. Come on, let's be real. You're not really gonna be using the storage for this device. Uh, but now you have eight games. So now that added in with the controller, you can literally put eight games on here and switch on the fly. So as you guys can see, the design is different, uh, but it's pretty much about the same. Um, you have the game card reader right there, um, and you have a USB device here as well. So as you guys can see, that uh, goes into the Nintendo Switch. But this is the most curious part about it. I think the controller was one of the most important things about this device. So let's go ahead and check it out. So it's pretty cool. You can actually put it on your hand as well if you're looking to have the controller like right near you so it won't fall off or anything. Um, and there it just has the button there. Now, the only thing I'm curious about this is how exactly you're going to recharge this. Um, does it have, a, okay, I think it does have an area where you can charge it up. Um, as you guys can see that, um, you might be able to open it or it might be kind of like an NFC thing. Um, but I think you can open it up. We'll try to open it up and see if we can open it up if we ever have to change the battery. But it's really cool because it's basically a click of a button. As you guys can see, there's a little light up there. Um, and I believe, I don't know how many meters they said that it will allow you to change it. I remember it was like 400 or 500, but you know, you're still gonna get pretty good distance when you change it. I find this device pretty insane to what it's able to do with the cartridges on the Nintendo Switch because if you have a PlayStation 5 and you like collecting physical media, you're not gonna be able to switch the games on the fly. Trust me, sometimes it's really annoying switching disc on the PlayStation 5 when you wanna switch over to a different game. You have to take it out of the case, put it back in the case, and put in the new game every single time unless you have digital. Obviously, if you have digital, you're able to switch games on the fly and it's very convenient. But if you're a physical collector like me that I like to collect physical items uh, such as game carts for the Nintendo Switch, this is the most useful thing that's gonna be available to you because you're gonna be able to enjoy your game cartridges and you're gonna still be able to preserve them instead of having a digital item online as well. And you just gotta put it into this device where you can switch up while you're playing on your TV. Now, I know this is not gonna really work for portable devices because this is mainly intended for home use uh, if you're using your television on the Nintendo Switch, but still, it's a pretty unique feature. So we're gonna go ahead and put eight cartridges. 
like the previous version also only had four cartridges which honestly was kind of disappointing because it had all the eight slots but this one has all of the cartridges that you can put so as you guys can see i am putting every single cartridge in here um and it's going to be able to read every single one of them so i think that is a major selling point like look at how many games you can have like i know there's some people that switch through their nintendo switch games and it's just a hassle especially switching the games especially if you're not playing in portable mode if you're just playing on your tv i know a lot of people prefer portable mode uh but you know it's not a big deal when it comes to playing on your tv as well I mean, a lot of us like playing on our tvs as well we got oled tvs um, I know that Nintendo Switch has all the TV, but sometimes you just want to play on the TV, you know So this is pretty cool. I mean, we're gonna be able to switch through eight different cartridges So, um, let's go ahead and start setting up the Nintendo Switch so you guys can see how the process of this actually works because it's pretty cool So the process of installing the device is still pretty similar to the previous one um, you put it in the behind your dock. Um, this also works for the regular one and the OLED. And then you connect it with a USB-C that is provided. And then you should be able to have it connected to the Nintendo Switch. And you insert the game cartridge right there where you're going to be able to switch your games on the fly. Um, so yeah, make sure to have your Nintendo Switch on. And let's get and show you the process. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the game switcher is now connected. As you guys can see, um, you can still switch games via button right here. Um, as you guys can see, I switched it up there. And we're going to go ahead and try the controller. Um, so I have the controller right here, as you guys can see. And we're going to press the button again. And it's going to switch us to different games. Kirby, Forgotten Land, uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, L.A. Noor, The Legend of Zelda Tears of Kingdom, Shining Pearl, and Monster Hunter Rise. So those are eight games, as you guys can see, that I switched out uh, between them. Um, as you guys can see, I have Animal Crossing, Kirby, Eevee, Smash Bros, Tears of Kingdom, Pearl. As you guys can see, one, two, three, four five six seven eight games as you guys can see that's pretty cool so let's go ahead and load up a game um let's go ahead and load up a game i want to load up uh tears of kingdom as you guys can see forgotten land is right there and then there's tears of kingdom coming up soon let's go ahead and load it up all right so we have tears of kingdom loaded up I'm not going to update right now. So it's pretty cool. Um, and it shows the blue light as well there. Uh, that you guys are actually seeing. Everything's working functional. And the reason I chose this game. Because I wanted to see if it actually loads everything pretty quick. Which I think to, it will definitely load everything pretty quick. Um, it's loading pretty fine. I don't really see much of a lag or, or stuff on here. So... It's looking pretty good. I don't think I actually started the story here, but as you guys can see, everything is working fine. So there's the loading bar, and yeah, guys, it's loading the cutscenes pretty well. I don't really see much of a lag or anything. Uh, let's go ahead and skip it and see if it goes a little faster. And yeah, it's reading pretty good. You probably aren't going to notice much of a difference between it at all it that actually loaded up pretty quick so i was pretty surprised with it um i didn't really see any lag at it i think it might even have loaded faster but yeah it loaded everything good guys so um just a little more demonstration so you guys can see uh, how it looks like when i press the button so basically i just press the button and you guys can see the light changes now, as far as going far away, you can definitely go pretty far uh, from your TV. Uh, obviously, I don't recommend you go into a different room. I mean, who does? This is mainly when you're sitting on the couch and you want to switch the game or something. But, man, it's very convenient. They definitely outdid themselves with this product compared to the original one. This one is way more improved. So, I have to say, um, this is definitely a game changer. The controller was definitely necessary. Um... 
I think the controller was one of the most important things uh, for this device and the previous um, one. Honestly, I, I don't even recommend you buy the previous one anymore. This one is just a game changer. This one is just the better version. The controller is what you need in order to have a good experience with this device. This is what makes this device useful. I can be sitting on my desk right here. As you guys can see, I can have my desk right here. I can play my Nintendo Switch. I want to switch a game. I don't want to switch the cartridge. And I just press the button like there. And you go see the button game switches. Like you can literally do that on the fly. So yeah, I like this device. I think this is a genius invention. I think they did an amazing job. In conclusion, I'm going to be giving my final review and what I think about the product and whether you should buy it. I have to say yes, I do recommend you buy this product simply due to the fact that it's very convenient to switch your physical media cartridges on the fly without having to get up from the couch. So if you're a physical media collector and you like to collect Nintendo Switch cartridges, you know that you can't install them digitally onto the console, so you have to switch each cartridge every single time that you want to play a different game. And this makes it super convenient because now you have the ability to have a controller and switch it all the way from your couch without having to get up. And on top of that, you can put eight cartridges inside this device. So this is definitely a good device for physical media and people who want to have physical media cartridges instead of just buying the digital games on the marketplace on the Nintendo eShop. So this makes more sense for anyone that is a collector with physical media. Now this is a one of a unique device because you're not going to get this type of device on the PlayStation 5 or Xbox. You can buy multiple digital games on those consoles but on the Nintendo Switch you're going to be able to switch cartridges on the fly just eight of them now that doesn't really matter if it's just eight i mean eight is more than enough if you're trying to play a lot of different games all at once and you don't want to get off from your couch and so for hardcore nintendo switch gamers who like physical media this is highly a recommended device that you should have for your nintendo switch um i personally am someone who don't really like to collect digital media at all i don't like buying games digitally i like to have my physical media copy of the game however i do understand why people buy digital media because it's more convenient switching games on the fly but with this device you're kind of solving that problem because you're able to switch between your games with a remote controller from your couch without having to get up and you're able to put eight different cartridges inside of the console or the device as well so yes it's a really nice device and i don't think it's a niche product i think a lot of people who collect physical are going to want this type of device for their Nintendo Switch. I definitely recommend it. So overall, I don't really have cons this time around because the device has been updated and it has been perfected by Unitech. So if you guys already know, previously I made a video on the previous device that released and that one did not have a controller. So it didn't really make that much sense for anybody who didn't want to get up. But this one makes definitely more sense. Um, if you're able to get up without having to get up at all, you could just use the controller from your couch. So yeah, uh, I believe they do have two versions that are out there, uh, the eight cartridge version and the four cartridge version. Um, they're fairly cheap though, but I definitely recommend anyone who is looking for this product to definitely pick it up. Um, anyways, I think it's a solid product. So if you're currently interested in getting this product, it is available on Amazon right now. So if you're wanting to buy it, I definitely do recommend it. It's a really good device. I believe there are two versions of this device. There will be one that's coming in the future or it's available already on their website, which allows you to hold eight carts. Or you can go ahead and opt for the four cart version, which allows you to switch between four games. And right now the four cart version does have a 10% off coupon on Amazon so if you're looking for that this is officially from Unitech you can go ahead and apply a 10% coupon if you're interested thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a nice day